Okay. Hello again. This is the Watering Man. Spiritual Toolbox number 173. John chapter 3. Recording number 27. Audio recording number 491. Examination table number 153. Let's continue dissecting. <coughs> okay, now I took you to another... Um, little uh, reference or something, another little place last time, I'm going to continue in that um, actually a couple places, but I took you uh, to Matthew chapter 26 verses 39 through 42 okay <clears throat> and I uh, let me read that first, hang on a minute uh, okay, yeah, uh, it's just a uh, Actually, I'm going to start back verse 38, okay? In Matthew 26. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Okay, this is Jesus talking here. Uh, Tarry ye here and watch with me, okay? Verse 39. And he went a little way, a little farther, fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup uh, pass from me. This cup of going to the cross, right? Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you wilt. Okay? Verse 40. And he came, and he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and said unto Peter, What? Could you not watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. And I uh, see the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Verse 42 says, He went away again and the second time and prayed, saying, O my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, your will be done. Thy will be done. Okay. <clears throat> so submitting to me. Okay, he's giving an example. And this is about as hard as it's going hard as it could possibly get. <laughs> Jesus going to the cross. He's giving the Mine, it ain't going to get no harder than this. And what's he doing? Not my will, but yours be done. Okay? The, uh, um, Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, your will be done. <laughs> Let's read that out of the New King James. Oh, my Father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, unless I partake, I do this, I allow it, your will be done, and the stuff we, we complain about and we go on about, we've not even suffered to, to blood, right? See, but th this is not just giving out the outward stuff. It's all going to start inside in here in our thinking processes. Woo! All right? I surrender all. Well, do you? Can you? Or do you fall asleep? Huh? Wake up, you sleeper. Remember? <laughs> okay. Now, we're down in here. We've been looking at in verse 41, I'm not doing a complete one here. I've been getting real deep, but I'm doing a little bit in some of these words. Just show you a little bit. Because I'm primarily, I'm still back in John chapter 3, verse 4 right now, okay? I don't want to get out here too much and go and jump around all over the place and then lose track of where I was at. Okay? Because <clears throat> it's like infinitely deep all the thought process is trying wow 
okay? Still with it. First line upon line, precept upon precept, thought process upon thought process. Get your mind right. Be able to use these to to agree totally with God. Because that old carnal mind, your old self, your old me, myself, and I, that big log in your eye that blocks your being able to see, hear, taste, touch, and smell with Christ in control. Knowing how to turn from that big old log and go into God, full bore into the anointed of God. Because that old log in your eye will give you is your living, your existing, and that shits. In your thinking process. Don't want that. That's worthless and detestable. Ooh, yuck. Cannot possibly. It's not allowed to go, boy. Get that increase. Going back into God. Put on the wedding garments, the clothing. of God, you can't get, uh, put the righteousness of God on. You put more shit on top of shit. Well, yeah. It's just fucking more and more and more like shit when you're thinking. You're polishing them outside the cup like a Pharisee. Man, don't I look good? And you got all kinds of dead man's bone inside it, bones inside of you. Seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with a big eye in the middle. Shits. Diarrhea. It's worthless and detestable. It does you no good at all. So stop feeding from that tree of your, the knowledge of your own good and evil. I don't want to exist as shits in my thinking no more. Ooh, yuck. Right? Just like the father vomiting that detestable, worthless stuff, that BS out of his mouth. Don't put that stuff in your mouth. Don't partake of it. Because if you partake of it, you eat from that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you're separating yourself from God. Ooh, yuck. Okay? <clears throat> now, God is passionate to get this what, from, to, to chop this stuff out and to boil it out and to skim it off. But he's asking you, in these eyes of a storm, every in the eye of a storm, He's purifying it little bit by little bit by little bit. Not just one time and then bam, that's it. Mm -mm. Remember, chop, turn, chop, turn on one thought process. Melt, skim, melt, skim. Okay? There's a lot of that. Oh, my goodness. It's a whole lot. You give up on it. You're weak. I'm weak, so, but in Christ, we're strong. We can do all things in and through, both in, resting in God, and going through, dear, through the eye of the needle, meta, that whole thing, coming out of that poop thinking, going all the way through, all that two towards into, and then in, and that's why in God. In union with God, which a whole process in the three days, in the tomb, in your earth, in your stinking thinking, God's bringing that out. And he's passionate through us. Not anger in the sense that we think anger, hatred, God hates me. No, he's getting this out. He's giving you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Be reasonable, my child. See it my way. Come in hot pursuit so you qualify to get these increases back into the love of God, His righteousness. Seeing it His way. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. One, two, four, eight. Into Him. Because if you do it the other way, eat your own bullcrap thinking. It's one, two, three. One, two, four, eight. It's double on going into the poop thinking. You're putting poop on top of poop. And you're existing as shit in your mind. Don't matter if you polish outside your cup and get all this stuff you think it's temporarily. It's, I mean, it is temporarily satisfying you at best. At best. It's transitory. But it's not permanent change. There's 
other change. You go and hop, turn from that stuff, go in hot pursuit of God. It's permanent changes. Boom, boom, boom. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 32, 6, 4, 1, 28. Right? It's a true excitement. He's elevating you in the spirit. Coming out of this earthly stinking thinking realm where the snake bites you on your legs, on your lifestyle, the way you live, the way you exist, poisoning you, bringing you, lifting you higher to where none of that stuff is bothering you after a while. Because you just, ah. Got any more of that fatty calf? See, you're coming out of that hog's pen in each and every area. And God's killing the fatty calf, the father's house, right? The parents. It's fattening up for you. It's a great celebration. You got that thing in your hand. You're frying it over here. It's not even hurting you. <laughs> like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that fire furnace. Hey, man. Mm, give me some meat and potatoes, man. All right, kind of it, it, think of it, it, silly out there thing, but that'll help. Hopefully, help remind you what's going on, what's truly important. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His right mindedness, and all this other stuff will just take care of itself. Keep tightly locked to the Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 I agree. I agree. I agree. I exist. I exist. I exist. Habitually practice it. Prosser. Remember Philippians 4 9 on that word do? That's actually prosso. P R A S S O. It means to habitually practice it. So God's taking that one thought process and transforming it. <clears throat> Turning that thing into pearl of great price. Or bringing it always upward and then boom, igniting it. The pressures are so great that you're protected by God. You're putting on the armor of God. And boom, it's a it's a fusion fire. It's a star. <laughs> right? It's bright in God. The future's so bright. You guys got to wear shades. <laughs> Because it's reflecting out of you the grace of God. Okay? You're, that's the thermostat inside you is changing. You're no longer going to this yuck poop thinking like a thermometer. Changing to that temperature. Take a thermometer out in the cold and it's going to read whatever the temperature is. But you got a thermostat in your house. It's going to kick on the furnace and stuff and change the temperature the environment in there. Your thinking process is in here, focusing on God in the midst of the storm. So you don't even, it's, you're still in it, but you're not of it. You're in this worldly way, worldly thinking process, but you're not of it, right? They say, God say, you're in the world, but you're not of the world. Not just talk about this outward stuff, inward, where's God working? Inside you, huh? Maybe I'll have to get that later, but I gotta not get too bogged down everywhere. I'll lose track of where I'm at. Okay, I'm just getting a little bit here, so we'll go back to John chapter three. Okay, <coughs> now <coughs> in this word willing in verse 41 of Matthew chapter. 26 it says watch and pray that you enter not into temptation the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak now that willing we go a little bit in the etymology of that word and tell you a little bit about that word okay that word is 4289 prothumos strong's g 4289 Prothemos. Okay, we covered Prothemos. that a little bit, okay? Now, <clears throat> it comes from 4253 and 2372. It's etymology of that. And in that Prothemos, it's ready, willing, okay? That's just online there. The 
the uh, Strong's, it says forward in the spirit. You're getting the increases into the spirit, okay? Ready, willing. You're in hot pursuit of God, okay? And it's alacrity, okay? It's, it's, talk, it's, uh, it says it's predisposed to that neuter noun, alacrity, okay? Now, I defined alacrity down here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, right there. It's a cheerful readiness. It's promptness. It's a willingness. It's in those eyes of the storm. But you're willing and ready and you're cheerfully ready in God's in hot pursuit of God's ways, God's righteousness. Turning your back on your old shit's thinking, your own righteousness. Ooh, yuck, that stuff stinks, Daddy. I don't want it no more. Yes, chop it out. Oh, yeah, you melted that out? Yeah, I, uh, yuck. Skim it off, please. Thank you, thank you, I love you. You are great. And God gives you that increase. <gasps> wow, wow, oh, wow. Hurrah, oh, right? Okay. All right. Now, let's go back up here. That word prophemos, the etymology of that is from two words, okay? 4253 and 2372, right? I touched a little bit on these before. I'm just breaking it down a little quicker, trying to, okay? Uh, uh, 4253 is that pro. Let's say pro. Strong's G, 4253. <clears throat> pro. Pro. Okay, it's in front of, prior to, it's superior to. God's ways is superior. Not like Nicodemus is saying, we're signing outside the cup, he's a champion of the hero. Of the, Sign yourself outside the cup. Pharisees, those exclusively religious cats that are bitter enemies with Jesus Christ and his cause. Don't do it that way. Yahweh is not salvation. Jesus, Jesus, I-S-O-U-S means Yahweh is salvation, right? Y-H-W-H, not Jehovah, Jehovah. Take out that, putting it out there and putting it back here in the history, out in the future, all this stuff. There was vows, elongate, delay. Delay it, put it out away from you. No, deal with it right now. Because those Pharisees say, don't. Just shine the outside of the cup, make it look good. Look like a big bad Billy or whatever. Big bad Pharisee. Man, you can see your reflection in me. And then they got all kinds of dead man's bones, all kinds of shits thinking. They got diarrhea inside their head, inside their mind. Okay, if that'll help you remember it. They're seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell in their thinker. It's got their old ego in the way. That big log. They they not get not getting it out of their eyes so they can help themselves. And then when they help themselves, they help their brother, their fellow human being, because they love them. Just like Jesus said when they ask him, "What's the greatest commandment?" Basically, love God with everything you got. And the second, same thing. Love your neighbor, your fellow human being, as yourself. But you got to get that eye, that log out of your thinking process in each and every area before you got a chance of helping them. Otherwise, you're sticking your daggone finger, your big old paw, right in their eye. Don't be a Pharisee. All right? Now, anger and wrath is for that stuff. Getting that crap out. A thumos, okay? We'll get there. This, this, uh, pro, P-R-O. I'll say it like that. <coughs> That's a little bit easier to understand. A pro, but it's about the same. It's 4253. Okay, it's in front of prior to, it's superior to. God's ways is superior. It's the pro way. Of thinking, not this bullshit way, all right? Worthless and detestable. Ooh, yuck, get it out of your mouth. Ooh, yuck, Blah. vomit it out. This stuff's detestable, all right? Just like Daddy God says. Ooh, yuck, Blah. if you're lukewarm or you're cold, Blah. all right? 
Got to pursue him in hot pursuit. All right, now. <clears throat> that's a primary preposition, so we don't need to go any deeper on that one. Okay, now, it's coming from that pro, the pra, 4253 and 2372. Okay, 2372 is that thumos. They translate that as anger. As you just skim the surface of the water, even if you look and see it's anger, you'll think, ooh, anger, ooh, because like a Pharisee, a non-spiritual-minded person, and the way you start in your thinking process, that carnal mind, non-spiritual mind, only they see, they hear, taste, touch, and smell with that ego in the way. So all they're seeing is shit stinking. They're not seeing with Christ, the rightful king, the anointing of God in control. Yahweh is salvation. So they, like the prophet Isaiah said, they see, but they don't, you know, meaning they see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. They understand, but they don't understand. Because you're only looking with this eye, ah, just like Nicodemus. What do you mean, you gotta be born again? How do you enter the womb again to be born again? Huh? Hey, yuck. He's supposed to be a leader, a great hero of the masses of the. Uh, The Dung King, Lord of the Flies, okay? Ugh, got some yee yuck. Disrespect that sucker. That's inside you. Ooh, yuck, that religious, exclusively religious separatist, trying to separate you from God. On the day that you eat thereof, you shall surely die. You'll be separated. Don't be separated. No longer. Wake up, you sleeper. Turn from that stuff and go in full board of God, right? That would be the anger. A little bit more correct if you want to say anger. Be got that crap. <laughs> Spit that crap out of my mouth. Be passionate, desiring that. Thumos. Okay, Thumos. S T H Y M O S. Number 2372. The Pro Way. Thumos. Okay. 2372. <clears throat> Thumos. Thumas. Okay, it means uh, it's passion, as if breathing hard, <clears throat> right? God's working to vindicate you, bringing you in this eye of the storm, so that you too can go hard into him, just like he is for you. Love as he loves you. His love is, be love is beyond words, his agape love. Right, that chop that he had uh, for you before you ever even knew. Now you come back, you're having a chance to gain a little bit more of that love by pursuing him in hot pursuit in this passionate love. God, words, turn your back on that old stinking thing. Ooh, yuck, get that out. <laughs> Ugh, spit it out. Vomit that stuff out and go on to God. Turn away from Man, that stuff sucks. I can't believe I had a mouthful of that hog slop right in my mouth, just chewing it like crazy, trying to get strength from that. <clears throat> Man, that's a lot new drink. <clears throat> I was picturing it pretty vividly. Ew, yuck, man, that makes me sick. Go hot pursuit of God. To eat from the tree of life and live. Get the fullness of life in God. Increase from. See it. Understand it. And turn from that old stinking thinking. Make God true and, and all that humanity liars. And go into God. Full bore. Okay. And when you do that. Then you. Oh, turn from optonomy. You see here. Take touch to spell it. To. Oh, oh wow. Yes. 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 I get a big old steak, yeah. I get part of this fatty cap or, you know, get a great big meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more hog slop in this area. I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing. But if you turn around and go back, ooh, yuck. Turn to a pillar of salt, you can't go on. All right? Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right? <coughs> now, this Thumas... 
is a uh, passion to uh, as if breathing hard. It's in the Thayers. It says, um, "Okay, it's like uh, it's anger, but it's like a bullying up, like God's bullying it up to refine it. Those impurities, all of you. And then one asking, shall we skim this stuff off too? Did we get rid of this stuff too? Yes, Daddy, I agree. Get rid of that old stuff. That was nasty down in there. I couldn't know it. Could I do that for myself?" Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Ha, 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 ha. You old stinking thing and beat it. All right? Maybe sing that beat it song. Just beat it. All right? Get out of here, you stinky stink. And then go back into God. Full bore. And he gives you an increase. Double, 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 double. Going right back into God. He's purifying you. All right? All right? Intense, passionate desire. Okay? Alright, and these things, all that other stuff, it subsides very quickly. That all that's... Because God loves you beyond words. So that old stinking thinking that you've been subjected to, that, soon as he's bringing you out, little bit by little bit by little bit, your love is growing back closer and closer and closer for God. You're becoming from just a hope. The confidence in God. The seed of faith is growing in truth of God. Your conditional love is growing to unconditional and beyond unconditional love. This love that's, oh my goodness, oh, I don't even know how to describe it with mere words. It's beyond my, it's exceedingly great reward, right? Like you told Abraham, Abram at the time. In Genesis 15, 1, I am the self-existing one is your great and exceeding reward. Claim your inheritance. Make a stand in God. Don't stand in that bull crap and think you're going to increase. Okay? It's giving you a little bit more picture of this through us, but it's not complete. Not, not, not everything, but I'm showing you some. Okay? God's taking out impurities out of you. It's for you, not to you. Not going, oh, 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 oh I'm a bee. Oh, woe is me. You're identifying with that crap thinking because it's got to go, it's gone, 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 gone. Can one bring it back? Get out of here, dog. All right? Shove that crap in the daggone sewer. Ooh, yuck, like that chain that was around my neck. Remember that dream, that dream that vision God gave me? Had big old plaques. So, man, look at how great you are. God help me. Bang, bust this stuff off. And there's storms, there's fire trials. There's storms of life. Bam, throw it in the garbage, in the sewer on the side of that trail, and then walk between it and the covenant with God. Exist, exist, exist. Back in the garden, it's a narrowing path, but all your, it's growing. Become a mighty warrior in Christ. Don't trust in those horses. Your own beast needs your strength. Right? Some may trust in horses. Some may trust in chariots. It carries you through the life. But this, uh, that, that, just carrying you in the crapper. But we will trust. In the name of God, right? The anoma, the sin, or that shame, the, the, the nature, the character, and authority of God, the truth of God. All right. <coughs> I could go on, on, on there, giving you a little bit to go on and study. Oh, celebration, great party time, baby. All right. Whew. Now, this uh, Thumas is what it say like right here. It's a passion, an anger against that old yuck stuff. It's a heat. Anger for with uh, boiling up and soon subsiding again. A subsiding, yeah. See, so God's skimming it off. Shall we skim this off too? You giving up on this crap too? Yes, sir, daddy. Skim it off for me. Thank you. Woohoo! Yes, God is great. 
All right? Because then you get the increase. All right? That only God can give you. All right? Now, that word's coming from 2380. All right? It's this word, T-H-Y-O. Strong's G, 2380. <clears throat> Fool. Okay. That means to, it's a root word, that means to sacrifice that old stinking thinking. Your old surrender it all. Surrender all that stinking thinking. That flesh and thinking's crap. Okay? And it means also says to immolate. And that is, uh, blah, 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 I know I wrote that down here somewhere. Uh, not seeing it. It's to sacrifice your thinking, that old righteousness. It's bull crap thinking. <clears throat> Get out of here, you dog. Just thinking, thinking. You beast nature. I'll give all that stuff up for winning Christ. All right? I count it all as dung for winning Christ. Throw that stuff in the garbage. Burn it up. Skim it up. Whoa, I'm going up in the spirit. All right. This is good news when you gain that. Woohoo! Yes, sir, God. Now, I, I didn't even cover the others, but I will here a little bit later, I guess. Uh, this was Spiritual Toolbox 172, uh, John chapter 3, verse 20, or er, recording number 26.